What's up everyone? Just a real quick video today just to give some thoughts post Havana Festival. Uh, it's been two weeks now and I want to say thank you to all the subscribers and to everybody who's been viewing the videos. Uh, some great comments, some great questions. I know a lot of you um, have reached out to me about uh, your first trip to Havana uh, and it's great that uh, people are actually making the, the trip to Havana. Uh, just to address some thoughts post post Havana festival um, a lot of comments regarding the pricing changes even in the prices uh, in Havana and, and a lot of the shops I know that my first trip um, back three four years ago versus uh, my previous trip in October uh, it was quite a shock to see the prices of of our favorite boxes being so high now um, comparatively to the international market, you know, you have the prices in Havana and then obviously the retailers internationally are adding their price markup for their profit margins. Um, you know, some quick thoughts that I found in my uh, attendance to the festival events. Um, you know, the prices uh, certainly are a little bit of a shock, or I should say a, a big shock. Um, and it, after a while, with some time to sink in, I think that it's, um, it, it comes to a point where are we going to continue to buy Habanos or, you know, just start smoking rest of the world cigars, Nicaraguan and Dominican cigars. Um, I, I certainly can empathize with people who, where, you know, even, you know, everyone's price point has been exceeded now for our favorite Habanos. I think that now some of my post thoughts on the festival is that um, what I see Habanos doing is really catering to the um, luxury market or basically, you know, making Habanos a luxury brand of cigars uh, from what I've seen in the events, just the cost of the tickets to the events. Um, the prices uh, and what I seen people coming into the shops looking for with regard to the types of cigars in the past events uh, in years past you know the, the shelves essentially would pretty much be empty in all the shops and one of the things that I saw in all the shops that I visited you know this last February was that um, there was plenty of inventory. Uh, I found that a lot of the international market, uh, international customers, especially from China, the Middle East, uh, and Europe were seeking out specific uh, brands and Vitolas of their favorite cigars, primarily Cohiba, Siglo Sixes, um, you know, Esplendidos, um, Partagas, uh, as well as Monte Cristo's, although Monte Cristo not as too much, not not that much, but Partagas and uh, the Cohiba brands were certainly in demand. Um, I, I can just say that you know my favorite cigars are still Habanos. They will continue to be whether or not I can continue to afford to buy my favorite um, Vitolas remains to be seen. Uh, but I will say that the my perspective now is leaning really more towards finding boxes regular production uh, boxes that have age on them because that's the only way I can really justify the price let me give an example uh, I found um, a couple shops with boxes of Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number no. twos uh, Especiales and Epicure number no. ones uh, that were from 2017 and at $16 a stick, whereas in the past they were like maybe $10, $11 a stick, um, the only way I can justify that price is now uh, to look for aged boxes. That's where I can justify the price. So I found a couple of boxes with over six years of age on them. That I can justify paying $16 a stick for uh, Hoyo de Monterey Epicure 2, uh, 1, or the Especiales. Uh, the other alternative that I'm looking at is also the custom rolls in the shops. Uh, I've tried different custom rolls from various other shops that have uh, torcedores or their own rollers in the shop making their own custom blends. Uh, typically these sticks will sell between six to ten dollars per stick. Uh, anything more is, is a little bit ridiculous I think. 
uh, but one of the um, shops uh, that I found was that the shop in the uh, Comodoro probably has the best custom rolled uh, cigars uh, in Havana. Uh, the custom rolls from the Malia Cohiba, uh, actually there was a lady there, she made a very nice uh, stick as well. That was a custom roll uh, and that stick was about <clears throat> I think ten dollars, eight to ten dollars a stick. Uh, but again these sticks uh, these custom rolled sticks that I find at the Comodoro, especially the Margarita, you saw my video about that. I feel that those sticks are probably equivalent to a Cohiba Siglo 6. They smoke excellent, there's a good flavor to them, <clears throat> and the price point is definitely, I think, worth it, uh, with uh, coupled with the quality. Uh, a lot of comments, people were asking about which shops to go to. Uh, I gave uh, some people who were planning trips to Havana for their first trip uh, asked me and reached out to me and so I always ask people to email uh, because it's too long for the comments, uh, a lot of their que your questions. Uh, but certainly please feel free to ask any questions, um, you know, I'm available. Uh, typically what I'll do is I'll respond and ask you to email me uh, with your specific questions. Um, but again, I think that what I'm looking for primarily now, based on the price of regular production boxes and even the boxes of Siglo 6 and for the uh, other uh, sought after um, Vitolas and brands, is that I'm primarily focusing now on finding Limitados or uh, limited edition sticks. Um, also regional sticks um, when I go to various countries I'll be in <clears throat> Amsterdam uh, in May and I'll do a, a video on the LCDH in Amsterdam and you know really with the price of the sticks now I'm looking primarily for very specific um, sought-after sticks uh, and brands and boxes primarily again regionals and limited editions uh, with the caveat that if the price point, you know, justifies it based versus the regular production sticks, then I might pick up some. Um, so I'm back in Playa del Carmen, a little windy. We just had a tropical storm. Um, but no, I, I think that the custom rolls, from an everyday standpoint, uh, I picked up quite a number of custom rolls from the shops that I felt were... Um, provided the value and the quality that I'm used to with uh, what I expect from uh, a good Cuban cigar. And so that's what I'm doing now is just on, on an everyday basis I'm smoking uh, custom rolls and on special occasions I'll break open the boxes, uh, the age boxes that I have and smoke some of those. But now even the regular production boxes uh, are now special occasion boxes. Uh, I hope people, I know it's discouraging uh, seeing the prices now, even in Havana when you go, uh, but there are, there are alternatives and I think that we can still enjoy great Cuban cigars at the prices. We just have to change our approach as far as what we're looking for and what we're smoking on an everyday basis. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, it's all Cubans or nothing. There's some great Dominican cigars and Nicaraguan cigars, uh, you know, based on your profile, your 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 palate, and what you prefer. But again, um, I don't think that you have to give up on Habanos just because of the prices. There are alternatives, and I'll do a special video specifically on customs, prices, and also what to look for uh, when shopping internationally. So with that, um, good smoking guys, it's great to be back, um, who knows, I've, got, I've seen a lot of feedback where people uh, are interested in going to Havana and maybe for the channel, we'll organize a group trip, uh, yes, maybe set a date when my next trip and we can all meet up uh, and have a great time, okay? So until then, remember guys, keep enjoying Habanos, don't be discouraged, we're gonna find, we're gonna find you know, alternatives and um, remember, smoke them if you got them. Enjoy, guys.